Anytime we have an underlying mathematical model and we're developing code to allow a, a user to interact with our underlying mathematical model, this is an example of a computational model. So again, a computational model has to have some type of mathematical model behind it. So writing a simple program like Hello World is not an example of a computational model. There's not an underlying mathematical model here. But anytime we're developing code and we have some logic involved and calculations, that's going to be a computational model. I mean, there are some different types of computational models. One type of computational model is a simulation. So a simulation has the input and then an output and there's some underlying mathematical model to enable that input to an output. But it also has another important component. We have to have some type of visualization with it. That's what makes this a simulation. 